Okay, so that's the basic sort of shape of the building there. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, the other side because we're just going to duplicate this over. Okay, next thing I want to look at doing is the chimney breast here. So I'll make myself another box inside of there. Bring up my materials editor, just apply gray material onto that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm then going to, uh, let's see, let's doubly make sure that actually became a, um, yep, it did. Okay, fine, let's go back again. See, got to be careful here, don't make this perspective. Uh, view, that was the left view, press F3, there we go. Right, so, chimney breast. Right click, convert to editable polygon, again, vertex, move that out to the side there, move that out to the side there, take this, pull it up, there we go, and now let's look at that in a different view. So. We'll take the whole object and drag it about there because the chimney breast just... Now, I don't know whether this has been drawn wrong or not, and I've kind of pondered on this one for a while. Um, I think it's kind of been drawn slightly wrong, but there you go. So I'm going to put it about there. Yeah, that should be about right. Okay, so what I'll also do is I will take... Um, the vertices from here and I'm going to need to turn the grid on unfortunately because I will need to drag them and you can see I'm going to about this line there so I just want to take them out put them about there okay so let's get rid of that god awful grid especially at this resolution it's horrible to work with okay so what I'll do now is I'll say polygon face and I'll extrude that up uh, so slightly about there you can see I'm using my move tools here as well so we're not sort of setting anything in stone and I'll just bring that in now I'm not bringing that in at an angle here because the chimney breast doesn't call for that we come back I'll extrude again and I will move that up let's just move this up until we get to here that's fine and then what I'm going to do from here is I'll extrude up click OK so we'll bring that to about there I'll do another extrude. This time I'll bring that value down because what I'm also going to do is I'm going to apply that on top and just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so I'll come into a full view here and what I'm going to do is using my vertices, I'm just going to drag that up. Here we go. That's better. Right, now, this is where it starts to get fun. I'm going to select all of these um, faces and I'll do another extrude, but I'll do it by local normal. And I'll pull that out to be about like that. And then I'll take all of these faces and I'll do the same again. There we go. And then I'll take this face here. And rather cheekily, I'm just going to pull it up ever so slightly. And you can see what I need to do is I need to scale it in all three directions. Whoops, scale it down in all three directions. What that's going to do is that's going to, be, going to give me the top of the chimney breast. There you go. So you see, if I go to my display and I hide the shapes, you can see already in the course of a few minutes, we're actually starting to get quite a detailed shape appear here. So 
just to finish off that chimney breast before we um, we finish this section of the tutorial what I'll do is I'll create a cylinder and I'm going to create it using the auto grid and I'll just say we'll do a, a, a yeah just that really I'll just drag it out pull it up there you go job done press M apply my material and I'm going to say height segments is just going to be two so I'll write oh actually I'll make the make that 24 so it looks a bit smoother from a distance don't really need to have too many otherwise it's going to look odd and then from this view um, oh okay so what we'll do is we'll pull these up to there we'll pull these up to there I'll take the object as a whole and I'll drag it over there and then I'll take my polygons take all of those and I'll extrude by local normal out until that just about fits so we'll click OK there that's good and now because I might have a shot that sort of includes looking down just so this doesn't look like it, it's really strange I'll take that face I'll inset it by a small amount and then I'll extrude and I'll extrude down into the object and what that's done is that's really just added some thickness into that cylinder. I could have done that using a tube, um, but to be honest with you, I really rather quite like working this way. So now I've got my one, oh, let's go back to object mode. Now I've got my one chimney stack. What I'll do is over here, I'll shift and I'll drag my other chimney stack out. And again I can grab all three of these objects and I can mirror them and I'll make a copy and then I'll drag that copy across okay so coming back to this front view you can see if I just go to my move tool I can move that along and there we go. Now, one thing I didn't do was get these right in the middle. So they go right in the middle there. And these are going to go right in the middle here. Notice it doesn't quite match perfectly, but then, you know, doesn't need to. We're getting different views from, you'll always get a different view from a side and the top view. So don't really panic about things too much. Um, if I really want to at this stage as well, just to sort of prove the fact that we've made this a nice mirrored piece of geometry, uh, we'll come along here and we'll shift and drag. Make that a copy. It doesn't matter because we're going to delete it in a bit anyway. And I'll hide my shapes. And there you go. Really quickly, really simply, and very, very easily we've created the side of this building now what i might do is i might take these two objects and i might just pull them in slightly there we go so there's nothing interfering um and i'll probably do the same here as well just pull that out slightly a little bit and there you go all nice and simple a very nice looking house uh i think we're probably going to need to uh so, you know, let me let me just check this a second. Let's put these shapes back in here. Do you know what? I think that's come out too far. Looking at it, let's grab all of those, pull them in. I think I must have moved that building by mistake. There we go. See, that looks a lot better. Take out the shapes. There we go. We can move this back to where it was, which is about there. There we go, brilliant. So all it now leaves for me to do is to add in the holes for the windows and the doors, pop the windows and the doors in, extra few bits of detail, and job's gonna be a good one. So we'll do that in the next 